Welcome truth seekers and open-minded individuals to Vibrational Revelations. I'm Elena Bansanoff. I am Alejandro Ferraz. And we're so excited and honored to be a part of your life and for you guys to discover what Vibrational Revelations is all about. Alejandro and I have been reading vibrational frequencies and layers of consciousness of thousands and thousands of people, corporations, and all the sentient beings on this planet. And we decided this year in 2020 to give this information to humanity. So we launched vibrational revelations series on our website, holistic.com. So make sure that you subscribe and you join our monthly live episode. And then of course we have our membership platform where, where we've recorded so many episodes leading up to if you're just meeting us here today. Mm. So to answer any of the questions that you might have, perhaps the first question might be, why are you guys measuring vibrational frequencies and consciousness of public figures, right? And to answer these questions, first of all, we wanted to, to bring to your attention that everything in this universe is connected. We're all connected. And one of the most beautiful ways we can explore a matrix and see what constitutes our reality, which public figures represent also part of our reality, is by showcasing and revealing different aspects of what makes up those people's um, vibrational frequencies, layers of consciousness, because it is through learning and exploration we can get to understand our own reality, our, our own selves in a much bigger and better way. Yes, yes, exactly. Beautifully said. I guess the other question we just had, we did an episode with Sasha Stone. Actually, we did two episodes. <laughs> so if you want to explore and see how we're doing this publicly, you're welcome to, to watch the two episodes. But a couple of you had asked, because we share that we incorporated the consciousness scale from Dr. David Hawkins. And we incorporated his scale into part of our work. That's a point of reference more than anything. Exactly. Yeah. So the consciousness scale that Dr. David Hawkins created refers to different states of emotions. And as every single one of us on this planet, we all experience emotions from grief, sadness, anger, right? Fear to love, joy, peace, all these states represent, of course, different states of consciousness. But what differentiates one person from another might be how long they are expanding in that particular vibrational frequency, right? The lens through which they perceive their reality. So we incorporate, of course, the consciousness scale. We do not use kinesiology, which we do know that Dr. Hawkins uses kinesiology in his body of work. We love kinesiology, but we felt that it would absolutely interfere with our results because emotions tend to play into um, the outcomes. And we wanted to be as precise as possible in delivering this information for all of you, or to all of you. Yes, for the most okay. accuracy. <laughs> Yeah, so we use scalar waves and light frequencies to measure and, and bring this information. And you might say, where are you getting this information? So information exists in time. And I would say that our divine field of information is a record keeper. So past, uh, present and future all exist simultaneously. And what we're doing is we're tapping into the field of the information that exists because we're all leaving an imprint through time and space, hmm. right? And what we're doing is we're tapping in and retrieving very specific bits of information. Um, of course, we're not reading these uh, public figures emotions and deeper layers of why the emotions might be blocked for some people. This is out of um, alignment. This would be out of alignment because we would need to ask their permission. And you will see that for Sasha Stone, we did that publicly, of course, because he gave us the permission. But we do dive into... We, we didn't dive into his... Uh, we didn't dive into his deep into emotions. his deep emotions. We didn't do we that. We didn't do the life. That, that is the, 
I think it's the bonus on your work. Oh yeah, that's the bonus. But anyway, so for public figures, we do not dive into that. We do not offer healing sessions publicly when we're reading uh, these public figures. This is just information that exists. If you can imagine that we're all a living library and it's just knowing where to retrieve a book of information of that particular person, corporation, whatever it might be, and knowing where to open the right page. And this is the part that we're so excited and honored to share with all of you. Yes, and we're able to, I would say, uh, not only capture that information from the divine field of information, which is constantly feeding us that information and we're feeding it back to the field, right? That's right. Um, that's why we say that it's extremely important to uh, tune in to the right uh, frequency because we're like uh, radios. We emit and uh, transmit and receive information. And um, so what we need to do is just tune into the right frequency based on the kind of information that we want to retrieve. That's right. right. Yes. Yeah. So you'll hear us talk about consciousness scale as part of our revelations. And then we have another part that we've added. Again, this is our own system that we've created. We've just incorporated an amazingly beautiful consciousness scale that Dr. Hawkins already created. So we always want to acknowledge and honor uh, that part that he gave to humanity. So we've incorporated also percentages. So some of you might say, why are you guys using percentages? And what does that mean? So on a consciousness scale, we measure things from zero to 1,000, right? One being the destruction, 1,000 being fully integrated, right? Fully integrated being. And then we do percentages for certain aspects like joy. joy in the now or the present moment. Yes. In the ego, integrity. We also measure the alignment with higher purpose or divine purpose. Your alignment with your personal purpose. Um, we also measure energy purity, which is a great uh, indicator that tells us um, how ready you are to shift to a higher level of consciousness or higher vibrational frequency. Yes. Per se. And we also measure uh, self awareness, which is uh, extremely important and, and is very much talked about. Yes. Um, and we also measure clarity, which is. I will say that it has to do with self-awareness, right? Yes. And the ego factor as well, and how much time you spend in the in the now. Um, those are really yes. uh, uh, elements. So that people are, are probably wanting to say, why is it in percentages? Well, because yes. those things have nothing to do really with emotions. We're looking at, for example, with your divine or higher purpose, how close are you to being on purpose, right? And how close you are, which uh, we correlate to self-realization, right? And um, personal and purpose, purpose, right? Yes. And uh, personal purpose has to do with self actualization yes. so we're looking at how close you are or how close or per perhaps your percentage of being in the ego is ego ruling your life right. or are you allowing your heart to lead so those are all the things that we take into con consideration and they're part of not only our private readings but also all the revelation episodes that we dive deep into revealing this type of information yes yeah so the so the percentages are because based on the time the one is, is involved, we'll say- um, Throughout their day. Throughout their day, being, being rather than their integrity in the ego, ego, in the present moment, right? right? And how much you are in alignment with, like she said, your divine higher purpose or personal purpose. Right. Uh, it, so, so it is so not determined by, emotions. Uh, by a, a predominant emotion, like it is when we measure um, your overall vibrational frequency, right? That the predominant emotion is the actually um, impacting your state of being and therefore your level of consciousness. What right? we call the lens through yes. which you perceive and live your everyday life. Yes. And of course, based on all the readings, we recognize that every one of us, of course, goes through the waves in life of ups and downs and different emotions. This is what makes our life so rich and colorful, right? And sometimes challenging. So it's about honoring your emotions, but not allowing your emotions to dictate your day-to-day -day life. 
Yes. So every single one of you, every single one of us has the ability to really transcend your own frequency and shift wherever you want to be based, of course, on your free will, because we all have free will. Exactly. Yes. And when we do the breakdown in our readings, uh, we touch on different aspects of your life. Uh, so health, uh, finances, creativity, relationships, mm. philanthropy, uh, personal growth and intuition, yes. right? Those are the first uh, seven layers. And um, we also look at how a person incarnates because yeah. that also gives us your soul signature of what vibration you chose to experience this dimension. And we also know that people are able to transcend that, which is so beautifully expressed uh, in our vibrational uh, revelations episode that we've already recorded and we're still doing them every week because we're so excited to share this information with you. Yes, and to continue with my statement, was, oh, sorry. it's okay, that um, when we go through the different aspects of your life, then you will see that the vibrational frequency that we get from each and every aspect of your life, it is, it re, uh, represents the predominant emotion from which you uh, perceive that aspect of your life, you know, and, and determines the relationship that you have and the level of resistance within each aspect of your life. As I mentioned, health, right? And, you know, creativity, relationships, philanthropy, personal growth, uh, intuition, uh, and, and finances as well, right? So you will be able to see exactly <clears throat> how much resistance there is exists within that aspect of your life. And that's, it, I believe, is extremely important as well because it gives you a very clear um idea where you stand and 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 you i'm sure that intuitively you you're aware of what's happening right. that, that there is energetic blockage uh preventing you from uh flourishing within that aspect of your life right, right. whether it is health or creativity or so forth uh so this will give you a very good um idea of where you stand in where is it that you need to focus your attention and your awareness or I would say even want energy, to, right? right? Want if to, you decide if you to, decide, of you might not even want to change anything in your life. Yes. And as somebody just recently said to us, somebody who's so self-aware of himself, he said, we actually got to peek. He actually got a peek behind his own curtain. Mm -hmm. And I love that yes. because sometimes we're also blindsided, mm -hmm. right? Or we have a perception of ourselves and it's kind of nice to be able to have someone else look and help you in a very loving and compassionate way. Take a look at all these um, things that are going on in your life exactly. from a loving perspective. Non-biased, non-judgmental. Non exactly. Right, all coming from love and light. And I will say that very often, especially when you're, in the, you're committed to personal growth and you are inspired to explore it uh, because you want to grow, you want to expand, uh, continue to expand. Um, sometimes we are surrounded by people that are totally on a, diff on a different frequency, mm. on a different uh, station, right? And we keep hearing things that are opposite of what we're moving towards to or what we're feeling. Right. Uh, so that, that could create confusion and to a point that if you pay too much attention to those voices, uh, you might think that you are in the swamps, that you are, you know, uh, really uh, swimming with, with the sharks when you are, you're actually swimming with the dolphins, right? And the, all the dolphins are inside just waiting to be freed mm. uh, so you can swim with them out in the open. Right. Yes. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention about our vibrational revelations episode is we go into historical figures people that had mm -hmm. been alive centuries ago. We're diving into public figures that are here and now. And we also want to explore with you another aspect, which uh, actually Sasha brought to us because we wanted to see where and how our human collective consciousness has shifted. And just to give you a little perspective, we've looked, the two of us have looked into different timelines of human history. And we've measured the human collective consciousness. And our consciousness had little peaks, little up, up 
and down, but overall it stayed uh, pretty much the same. And today, as of today, we've measured human consciousness. We are at 225. And um, anything below 200 has to do with separation, viewing yourself as separate from all, right? It's bathing in negative emotions. And again, I'm saying negative emotions because if you tend to spend a lot of time in anger, if you tend to spend a lot of time in shame, guilt, grief, it becomes your reality, right? Even though these emotions are part of our life. But today we are on the threshold, which is very similar to where we've been as a collective for thousands and thousands of years, right? I think we've transitioned maybe 20 points in the last couple of years, the last 10, 15 years. And 225 is the level of courage, okay? So 200 is the first level. It's a gateway to realizing that perhaps there's something else and we're all connected, but it takes courage as a collective for us to recognize that, embrace our shadows and really make this giant leap. Of faith. G yes, mm -hmm. leap of faith. So Sasha said that he was talking to a scientist and I believe he did this interview, we didn't listen to it yet, but supposedly there was a massive event that's supposed to happen in 2046, year 2046. So with our inquisitive nature, we <laughs> wanted to test out exactly what is happening from a human collective consciousness perspective. Yes. Yes, and he really um, asked us to look into it and see what is it that we can find out, right? Um, and, and what we did was, well, okay, we really, what would be the best way um, to somewhat um, confirm this theory of the scientist, right? right. That there's something uh, drastic is going to happen that will create this uh, major shift of uh, consciousness. And we thought, okay, um, let's look at the uh, human consciousness. Actually, the human consciousness uh, of 2046, the collective, is going to be at vibrating at 500. So the level of consciousness in 2046 of the collective will be at 500. Which is love. Which is the level of love. And right? just to say, you know, a lot of times we hear people say, oh, we're transitioning from 3D to 5D. And we really wanted to understand what that means. And it's really shifting from, I would say, lower vibrations as a collective to what they're meaning to say by 5D is love consciousness and it's it does not happen until the year of 2046 because we also measured the year 2045 exactly exactly and 2045 2045 is at 350 350 so we definitely uh, um i will say that we are we're going to be above the average as is right, right now which is 200, 225, right. but, it, but, it's, but not it's, not, it's not the 5D. It's not the 5D. So something is going to happen in 246 for sure to propel us to the uh, 500 level of consciousness. But then we thought, okay, so what is the, broke it down in generations. And um, <clears throat> as of today, the generation as of 2020, the generation of the baby boomer um, is at 225. The generation uh, X is at 200. The generation Xenials, X E N N I A L S, my accent gets me in trouble often, is at 200. The generation of the millennials is at 225. The generation of the I Gen or uh, Gen Z also called uh, Gen Z is at 225. And then the last generation, the most current one is at uh, 500, which is the generation alpha. So that, um, and, and they, they began to, at their birth or they started being born in 2013. And based on uh, how it's been broken down, uh, from birth and then they say birth ending and then after 2025 then a new generation will be uh, born born right well, we don't know what they're we don't know what they're, they're, they're yet. 
maybe generation Tesla, who knows? <laughs> uh, so uh, this also tells you because- This generation is pretty incredible. Yes, it's amazing that the new kids, you know something that I always felt by observing because I, I, since I was uh, a kid, I was fascinated mm. uh, by human behavior. I had no idea what I was uh, thinking or why I was doing what I was doing, but I was very much observing everyone's behavior and paying attention, right? Um, so something special. I felt that this new generation was definitely being born with a higher level of consciousness. And this really proves what we felt. This is the big jump. This is, is really right. the, the consciousness of this brand new generation is already in 5D. Exactly. Which is unbelievable. Exactly. Yeah. And this, of course, means average, right? That doesn't right. mean that every uh, Child. human being that right. has been born from, or oh, was born in 2013 and on, is, is, uh, has a, a level of consciousness of 500, but uh, the average is 500. Right. Now, when it comes to 2046, he looked at all the generations again to see if they've shifted. Exactly. As, as uh, due to the event that supposedly will occur in 2046. Again, we don't know. This is just the testing based on the information we were given yes. and we're sharing with you because we have our curious nature. Of course, the baby boomers will uh, be will transcend uh, and, and will be part of the non-physical world, right? They will mm -hmm. still be present with us, but not in uh, their physicality. Now, the Generation X, uh, which is in 2020, uh, is at 200. In 2046, will be at 400. Mm -hmm. Now, Generation Seniors, which is in 2020, is at 200. In 2046, they will be at 400 as well. Mm. Now, generation millennials in 2020, they are at 225. In 2046, they are at 700. Wow. And 700 is the beginning of the enlightenment phase. Exactly. Incredible. The generation Z slash iGen is called mm -hmm. as well. In 2020, they are at 225. In 2046, they will be at 725. Incredible. Right? And the Generation Alpha, last but not least, uh, in 2020, as we said 500. before, they are at 500, right? In 2046, they will be also at 725. So yeah, there's definitely an event it, from this reading it looks like something is going to happen to create this massive shift in the collective of humanity. Yes, uh, the new generations are also contributing to yes. this, to this evolution. Uh, major shift. Yeah, right? to the evolution. Yes. So it might be the human consciousness is evolving due to the new generation and perhaps some kind of event that we don't know of yet, but maybe we should watch Sasha Stone's video interview with the scientist that talks about this event. I actually, we need to refer to that. Yes, definitely. We forgot yes. about that. We've been so busy, but we should <laughs> get to it. <laughs> so we wanted to also say to you that thank you so much for joining us today. Please post your comments. We will also post a link to Vibrational Revelations uh, membership site so you can join in this membership site you'll be able to also as part of the group you'll be able to contribute and give us any kind of um, ideas of what people you want us to reveal to you or perhaps it's other things that you're interested in corporations perhaps plants somebody emailed us today and said can you do can you talk about plant medicine and the consciousness of that so whatever it might be for you whatever resonates with you just know that when we do it, we're not attached to any of the outcomes. It genuinely comes from the field itself. And we are so honored and yes. excited to share this information with you. Yes, so, we truly are. Yes. And, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to, <laughs> to interact with you. And, and also, mm. we love these suggestions because they help us to put together, together a beautiful list of, of people that we can uh, you know, uh, reveal yes. right, as, as, uh, uh, with intention of learning and also uh, help us 
because we all have mm. somehow we identify it with some parts of, of these different public figures in a right. way, right? Or we can recognize that maybe we're still carrying that within us, whatever it is, rather is a, a low vibration or frequency with a, the, an aspect of their lives or 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 we felt it at one point. But this or even inspiration. inspiration. Some people are so inspirational. Yes. We want to maybe get a confirmation, like, is this the person um, that I've always believed in just to get that confirmation, right? Yes. yes. But also recognizing our in our teachings and our work, we want you guys to know we do not place anyone above or anyone below. Exactly. This is truly about awakening all of our human potential. It's about stepping fully into your own light and recognizing that you are as powerful and as beautiful as perhaps those world leaders you've been worshiping or spiritual leaders, mm -hmm. but it's really about learning to really appreciate who you are on this planet because you matter. Exactly. And everyone, mm. everyone plays an important role. Yes. Everyone. It doesn't matter how low or high you vibrate. We all play an important role because mm -hmm. we are all connected to the divine source of information, to the divine field. Uh, and therefore we're all connected to each other. So we're constantly, like I said before, feeding that information and it's feeding us that information back. And it never stops, even when you sleep, it's happening. Yeah. So and a perfect uh, uh, correlation to what Elena just said about that everyone is important. Uh, and we truly believe that. Yes. It's because um, it doesn't matter of your level of consciousness, it's because when we measure how aligned you are with your higher purpose and your divine purpose. Um, we see the people that have, uh, like, especially um, Shadow historical the, figures, right. right? Historical figures that, that played a, a, an evil role. They played a role in the mm -hmm. shadows from birth. They came already knowing that that was going to be their, their role. Their, their role. Uh, they are still 100% in alignment with their divine and uh, in higher purpose so that tells you that um we definitely uh is, is it, there's a lot of contrast that happens right, here that is part of the uh, the human experience and and uh that everyone is important and no one is like she said uh below or above oh, wow. or better than worse than anyone and another thing we wanted to say of course some people say oh these are you know conspiracy theories Here's the thing, we're not attached to any political things, to any organizations, we don't care. We're revealing everything. everyone from rather, everyone. you know, it doesn't matter what their, their political inclination <laughs> is, their religious inclination is, All rather is the, uh, the person who hmm. takes care of their garden, uh, the Vatican, or the Vatican, or the Pope, or the pastor, or whoever. It doesn't, or the president, the it president. doesn't matter to us because yes. we, we are here to reveal and unmask the entire matrix yes. and this is the gift that we're giving to all of you because we feel that there's so much misinformation that's coming from all kinds of sources and we wanted to give you unbiased information for you guys to make exactly. your own decisions it's it not about our decisions what we believe right. we're just giving you facts numbers and you guys can make your own decisions so. yes and it is it is really time that we felt Although it was not an easy uh, decision, mm. honestly, to go public. Um, at first, I, I felt pulled towards it because it's my nature and it's her, her nature as well. But um, it took a little. <laughs> I was <laughs> resisting we, revealing we were a all of this. resistant on her side, but finally we made the decision because we 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 came across a group of individuals that are very brave and they're constantly trashed and insulted and, and criticized negatively for their efforts to fight for, for the, the well-being of humanity, yes. right? So for the truth, really. Mm. And, um, and so that's, that's really, what inspired that was our us. motive. Mm. And, and that, that is our drive to just uh, reveal it as is for the sake of, uh, of really paying more attention to what we feel and not too much to uh, what is coming from all angles outside right. of ourselves, right? Because the the wisdom, you will find the wisdom and it is within you. It is inside. Yes. The knowledge, you can seek for it outside. I, although I will say that in order to become a great scientist, a researcher, um, and, and a great teacher, you must uh, 
combine the, the two, right? Marry the two, mm -hmm. mix the two. And, and that way you have the knowledge and you have the wisdom and therefore you're able also to tune in to what you're looking for, yes. researching for, and the answer will be uh, revealed. A channel to reveal yes. to you the truth, right? Yes. So we invite you guys to join our vibrational revelations episodes and we'll place the link below. So we'll see you soon. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Thank Until you. then, stay aligned. <laughs>